If Gantt chart is the way you like to view your tasks, then you can use a power up inside of Trello and work with Gantt charts as well. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go to show menu and then I'm going to go to power ups over here. So from power ups, I'm going to use a power up called team Gantt, just like this. So this is the Gantt chart that I use and there are other options as well and you can try them out as well. So I'm just going to go around and add this in. So let me just click on add and the Gantt chart power up will be added in. So I'm just going to close this just like this. So over here, once I add in Gantt chart, it says get started with team Gantt. So let me just click on that and we'll have to go through the uh, team Gantt options right here. So we'll have to authorize this out. So I'm just going to click on authorize and name will be tutor tube and I can create a team Gantt, a Gantt uh, account just like that as well. So I'm just going to go around and type in my email address right over here and add in my password as well. So I'm just going to go around and create an account or uh, just quick, just like that and click on create free account till my account is generated just like this. So I'm just going to authorize this out over here. So I need to authorize this. I'm just going to save my password, open authorize and allow this out, right? So click on allow. And uh, now what happens is that uh, Team Gantt is connected with my uh, Trello account. So what I need to do now is select uh, the project. So I'm just going to go around and I'll just say none. I'll just choose each card gets uh, individually synced. So I'm just going to choose the manual option and I'm going to continue. I don't want any automatically automatic things happening out right here. So now what happens is that now I can work with Gantt chart. So if I were to click on view in Gantt, just like this, what happens is that here it says my first uh, team Gantt project. So if I were to go around and view in Gantt chart, what happens is that the Gantt chart gets displayed. So it'll take up some time to load in the first round. And here you have your Gantt chart view. But what happens is that you don't see your cards right away. So what you have to do is you have to add an individual cards onto Gantt chart first. So in order to do that, let's say, for example, I want to add this to Gantt chart. So if I were to go over here and click on the card, the card option pops up. And what I can do is I can add it in team Gantt. So if I were to click on this, what happens is that it says I can add card to existing project or a new one. So I'm just going to add it to an existing project. That is my first team Gantt chart. So if I were to add it now, what happens is that this card has the team Gantt, uh, team Gantt task right here. So you can set the start date. Let's say, for example, I'm going to start this task from August 10, and then I'm going to set the end date to August 12, just like this. So I can start this out and I can work around with, with checking this out as well, just like that. So I can complete it or not just like that. So now what happens is that uh, this card has been assigned onto the Gantt chart. So if I were to go on to uh, view team Gantt, just like this, click on the project view in Gantt chart. What happens is that I'll be able to see my Gantt chart right here and you can visually control this as well. So just click and drag it. And what happens is that it readjusts uh, adjusts itself and you can easily work around with this. You can also work around and add in the task right here. So let's say, for example, you can add in test two and you can add in, let's say, for example, another Gantt chart just like this and manage it directly from here as well. Of course, you have the list view as well. So once you go into list view, you'll get the list view um, view for each of your tasks as well. And then you can go on to calendar and see the calendar view as well. So you got like a whole range of options right here on what should be done when and gives you a new perspective on what tasks should be completed when. So you can go on to list and click to assign. So let's say, for example, you can go over here and assign it to the people who are registered on the uh, Team Gantt project, just like that. So let me just close this out and then assign a few other cards as well, just like that. So I'm just going to go around and click on script. I'm going to add into Team Gantt, just like this. So I'm just going to add card to existing project, my first Team Gantt. So it might seem a bit tedious in the first round. So if you want to work with Gantt chart uh, in this method, you need to add in um, 
whenever you start making the card itself. So it's easier to manage it out for Gantt chart later on. So you can go around, just add in a bunch of cards. So usually what you can do is simply add in a bunch of cards by using Team Gantt, just like this. And now what you can do is you can go to View in Team Gantt and then go on to this, view the Gantt chart and arrange every task here visually once you see them. So you can see that all of the tasks are here. So you can simply go over here and click on the start and end date. For example, I'm going to click on this and resize this. I can click on here, resize this over here as well. And I can click on here, resize this. And what happens is that I can visually rearrange everything out and work with the Gantt chart option just like this. So that is how you can make your Gantt chart using Team Gantt power up inside of Trello. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.